All right. So this is going to be my final video on texturing. Um, this is going to be touch-ups and just finalizing the entire texture itself. Um, up to this point, I've taken some reference photos of uh, my arm. Uh, there's the eyes that I left off with. So here's the uh, inside of my arm, like a three-fourths inside of my arm, I guess you call it. Uh, the outside of my arm, and then the top of my arm. I got a little, I must have uh, shaking the camera or something when I took it. It's a little blurry, but it's good enough for um, what I need it for. Um, so instead of Photoshop projection texturing, um, I'm going to go through and show you how to do this uh, sort of basically by hand, applying it to our model. Um, it's basically just a bunch of uh, checking and things like that. Uh, it's always good to uh, this can always help. Uh, oops, saved layouts. Perspective in UV editor. So this can always help when doing this. So you can, you know, enter face mode, or it doesn't matter face on here or there, and you can kind of easily figure out where the the spots of that arm will be. So I know this is going to be the inside of the arm, and I'm going to texture this one and then just kind of copy and paste it onto this one. All right, so I'll focus mainly here. I had this uh, really horrible skin color tone that I just kind of painted on there. Um, but n like I said, instead of texturing uh, through the projection texturing, we'll just do it by hand and uh, apply it to the model as we work on it. So uh, I'm going to start with the arm inside here. and right away I'm just gonna duplicate that click and drag to new layer I'll grab my quick select tool with the plus sign here uh, I'll increase the brush size a little bit and I'm simply going to start to just kinda clip out what I don't need okay and then control D is deselect Okay, and then delete. And I'm probably not going to need this uh, sleeve region, but I'm going to keep it there just for now. Um, just a quick tip when using this tool, you'll see that it will whoop, make sure I'm on this layer. Uh, leave like edges on where the last selection was, um, so you can always go in and erase that if needed. Okay, and from this point. On the arm, I'm just going to control A, select all, control C, copy, and then I'm going to go over to my diffuse map. So in here, um, this is going to be from here to here. This is shirt, shirt, and uh, this was a different uh, tutorial, so tutorial demo. Drag those in. So I'm just keeping it in a separate folder for now. So um, in my shirt here, I have projection texturing and all types of little things going on here. Um, one of the things I want to do is the arm. I just looking for that arm color. Hide the face. Arm paint. There we go. So I don't want the arm paint. All right. And that's kind of weird. <laughs> the little eyes in there. Um, okay. So, and here's the interior of the mouth. So from this point, what I'm going to do is focus primarily right here. I'm going to go up, assign that, and a new layer, and control V. And then actually, I need to zoom out because that's pretty large. Um, in which case, I'm going to rotate so it uh, fits, control T, and then just rotate it around. And then edit, transform, flip horizontal 
and zoom in and then actually because it's pretty large I'm gonna start to blend this in a little bit here is this gonna turn out perfect eh, probably not um, is it gonna be close enough uh, probably so I'm gonna start and just see what I can do here just by matching it um, I knew it was pretty close when I first did it I'll zoom in and I'll get to this little corner piece here in a second but just to see if it even looks right right off the bat I'm gonna go ahead and do a save as and save it as a TGA and then hit save and yes okay and then in Maya here I need to reload I was on the wrong arm. I was like, where'd it go? All right. So, I can see it's kind of, all right. It looks like this is the exact seam in which it's laying. I'll go ahead and start with that. I do also have a arms inside 3 fourths. Duplicate this layer hide the original, use my quick select tool and delete and then again over here and delete and then I'll just fill this in just to see, that's good Control A. Oh, make sure I select my correct layer. Control A, Control C. Go to my diffuse map. And then I'm going to do uh, Control V and zoom out and rotate and edit, transform, flip horizontal. And I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to flip this vertical also. and horizontal okay and then I'm going to scale it into fit And you can start to see some of the muscular anatomy. I'm not like a Superman or anything, but you can start to see this region is this region here. Now, with that being said, I just need to make sure on my mesh I need to flip this one also. So at the moment, I'm going to keep that where it is. I'm going to start a new group, too. And call this uh, arm inside. Arm inside. Three, four. So that's three fourths. So this one I need to M edit, transform, flip, vertical. and then rotate this inward and then this should actually start to um, now the lighting is always an issue you'll see the shading coming in that's always an issue with uh, photo uh, realistic images um, at this point I'm gonna move that there and I'm actually gonna do a transform warp to try to just pull this part of that lighting out. I can pull this one in to try to match it a little bit better. There's probably going to be some seams when I'm s when this is all said and done. Um, maybe this in. But we'll do the best that we can. 
pull this one up, maybe even here, and then I'll go something like that, and I'll press enter. Now the lighting is slightly different on both of these arms, so another thing I need to do is sort of try to match the next part. So I know that these both here are approximately the same part of the arm. You'll see I actually have this matching little dimple here. And I want to start to get the uh, sort of the pectoral here. But I also want it to blend well. And I guess I'll go something like that. Let me see. So I know if I go about here, it's about right, but it's still got to be um, slightly inward. And doing this, I think, projection texturing is much easier, but uh, we'll go ahead and do it this way right now. So I'll start at that point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select both these layers, holding Control or Shift, and click both of them. And I'm going to press Control E. This way I can keep the originals and then try to blend these in together. Now for this particular point, there's this tool called the Spot Healing Brush. This tool can be super awesome. I'm going to bring down the brush size, and sometimes it's not so awesome, but we'll see how well it works. Uh, let's go like 15 maybe. And I'm going to run this right down this seam. Typically running a long seam like this will not work very well. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You'll want to usually do it in smaller increments. That worked okay actually. It sort of blended it pretty well. And what it does is it just basically grabs surrounding um, pixel information and applies it on that brush. So maybe I do a little bit more here so it doesn't look like so much of a crease. Maybe here to sort of flatten out that elbow. And then maybe in here to get it a little bit more clean. And one more time there. I'd say that works pretty well. Um, I don't know what it looks like on the mesh yet, but it's a start. So let's see what we got. Yes. Okay. And then we'll go back into Maya. All right. And reload and it reloaded for me and I just want to go ahead and see how that's starting to look and while I'm at it let's turn off the UV and take another look at it and let's go back into Maya there it goes automatically reloads and I'd say I'm starting to get the 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 result that I'm aiming for. Um, at least on the interior of the arm, it's starting to turn out. I look super tan in comparison, so the lightings are way different. But I'll go in and I'll give myself either A, more of a tan here, here or lighten my skin up here. Uh, looks like I got one of those spray tans. It, it literally looks like it could be a spray tan, too, because of my uh, uh, using the clone stamp tool. And it looks like i got to do a little cleanup in here to get hide those UVs and in here a little bit but for the most part we're off to a good start um, let's go back into Photoshop now I have an arm top and I think this will be the next part I'll do the resolution isn't the greatest on it but that's I'll just have to deal with it I could always take another reference image. Um, I, I got a little clipping in here, so what I'm going to do is do uh, my minus brush, and then just try to get that like so. I'll go back to my plus brush because I know I don't have a little. There we go. And then in here, and delete. All right. Now I'm going to take this one and go back to my diffuse map and zoom out and control T and drag this over into place and rotate 
and scale. Okay. And edit, transform, flip vertical, I believe. All these I've been doing flipping vertical, so. Um, Okay, go to about here, so bring this down, something like so. This is arm top. And because I'm pleased so far with this result, what I'm going to do is uh, this will be arm blend. I'm going to duplicate my top one and then uh, my arm blend and arm top copy. I'm going to merge. Oop. I'm going to bring this arm top actually on top. And then sort of just kind of you know, hide this one for now. And then just sort of try to get this into a spot where it's okay. I'll go there, and now I'll merge the two, and I'm going to use my spot healing brush, and I'm going to simply go ahead and try to blend these in together. Something like that, give or take. Try to hide that sort of seam we got there and try to blend the, the colors into a little bit better. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, let's see what happens now. We'll go with that. Um, let's take a look and see what it looks like on the actual uh, mesh. Um, one of the things I probably should have done was actually use some uh, image adjustments and match the skin tones a little bit better to the lighting. Uh, but either or, um, let's just see what it kind of looks like. And... Oop. Save. Yes. Okay. And back to Maya. And... Reload. And I'd say that's actually, is that included? Is it including that? No. TGA. Save. Yes. Okay. And let's go back into Maya. Reload. And I'm starting to get more of the top part of the arm in there. And I ha I do have a strange sort of color blend in here. Um, but I'll just have to work my way through that as I continue doing this. And I will go um, back over here and do arm outside, duplicate the layer, and oop, I'll delete that, control D, hide this layer, and 
delete that. And then copy, control A, control C, go back over here, control T, I'll rotate it, and I believe edit transform, flip vertical, and then go down here and begin the next part. Maybe I can get away with using this entire piece, hopefully. I might need another extra section, but um, it looks like this part actually is going to go about here. I know it's kind of super weird looking, but... Alright, and then for the this one all right let me just see here I'm gonna grab an eraser and softly erase that shadow there okay and blend those two in together this is arm ta uh, arm back on the arm. It's this one. I'm gonna run a soft erase on the top to try to. Eh. Get rid of that harsh sort of lighting change. Go back here. Mm, something like that. And I'm actually going to just go ahead and blend all these together and see what happens. Um, I should be keeping my originals, but arm blend. Um, I do have them actually over here so I can always just resize and rescale and things like that. I'm going to grab my spot healing brush. In this case I'm going to bring the size larger and try to blend those two in together. that is so let's try to get that and I really want this one to blend better especially up here because the colors are just so drastically different all right so that's that part and maybe I can get a subtle better no nope uh... Ah, let's try that. I don't really have a th another reference for this, so I'm just going to have to grab another part of the arm that I have and see. Uh, save diffuse map. Yes, yes. Okay. Going back into Maya. Reload. And uh, other than the weird coloration, looks like I got some black and blues or something. Um... But it, you can see where I'm getting at with it. It's starting to come together. Uh, I've got my elbow there. It should be pretty much right on my elbow spot, give or take. I mean, it's it's right there. Yep. And then I just have this region down here that I need to blend into. And then I'll be pretty satisfied with my arm texture up to this point. Um, is it perfect? No. Um, but it uh, it does get the job done. Let me see if I have another reference that might work well. Um, I think I opened all of them. I did. Uh, outside? Nope. Inside three-fourths. Yeah, we'll use this one. 
All right, and diffuse. And we'll scale this one down. And here. And maybe edit, transform, vertical. And something like so. And bring that down, give or take. I'm going to use a eraser tool to soften up that hard edge and try to hopefully blend those colors a little bit better and then maybe using my arrow tool I can get it a little bit closer rotate it ever so slightly and we'll do about there and I'm gonna go ahead and blend those together control E and then go through here and try that spot healing brush again now it looks really funky but um, in sort of this weird coloration thing but for the most part it's got the elbow um, the lighting if I had proper lighting it probably match a little bit better this is probably a little dark for it and maybe I can do something like that and then try the spot healing brush and see if it'll just sort of fill it in I don't know what'll happen here eh I don't know. Uh, I think that'll work. And I'll just try to get these spots a little bit better. And maybe right in here too, because that's a little off putting. And I'll go with that for my arm for now. Um, diffuse, TGA, save yes okay and in my Maya file reload and I have a really 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 sharp um, seam here now there is one way to fix that and I'm going to I'm going to do it at the end. Um, what you'll do is you'll import your mesh into Maya and then use the spot healing brush right down the seam in the file and um, hopefully it'll work. But I have a skin tone here. It's super awkward in that region, but we're going to go ahead and try and fix that uh, momentarily um, at the very end. So basically, I'm just going to blend all these together because it's good for now. And then I may even want to wait on bringing this one into place yet because I'm probably going to end up running that spot healing brush. And uh, if I can get it right on one, then I can get it right on both of them. Just double check my UVs. Okay. And then here I'll run one more spot healing brush and just fill this section in. And I'd say that's pretty good and turn on this and just sort of go through and kind of try to hide that gray shirt I've got on there and I'll say that's pretty close um, maybe bring it over just a few pixels to make sure I got it right again um, I might have to flip this horizontal to see if it lines up properly I could have the arm backwards on the texture um, and this is just a way to do that sort of uh, a simulation of that projection uh, texturing 
um, except with did I get it right? I think I did. Uh, maybe not. Hold on. No, I didn't. So back in Photoshop on this one, image, transform, uh, edit, transform, flip horizontal, and move it into place and rotate it in as needed. And maybe one more pixel. Okay. And I'm going to erase this part so it's not bleeding it. Oh, so it's not bleeding into my UVs here. That's okay. Right here. Okay. TGA. Save. Yes. Okay. And back in Maya. Reload. And now the arm's on right. And I'll have to double check to fix that seam um, later on. So that's the arm. And I'll go back into here. Uh, save as. TGA. Save. Yes. Enter. Maya and reload just to double check what it looks like without the UVs on there just to see and there's the seam but um, for the most part we're good wrapped around the arm um, got a little touch up in here and uh, as you saw before some over here and uh, overall I'm pleased with the arm texture up to this point uh, besides this hard uh, crease in the seam or whatever um, now I'll go into the hand and hopefully the hand will be a little bit easier to do but file open and hand bot I already have these open actually hand oh no I don't Hand bottom, hand top, open. Same thing I did with the last one. Oh. Let's make this larger. This must be a uh, much higher resolution because it's giving me some lag and things. So I'm going to delete up to that point. Hide this one. Control D to deselect. And typically all you got to do is just kind of deselect if you're getting grabbing too much information uh, for it to sort of comp compute. Oh. And... Nope, nope, nope. And if I need to, I'll just run my minus. The background is sort of a skin tone color. It goes off of the color. Uh, so it's better to have... If I had, like, a black background or, uh, I don't know, green. Like a green screen kind of thing. And here... Go back over to my diffuse and scale down and rotate around and then turn on this so I can see and figure out which part is the top part of the hand and which part is the bottom part and then just blend them together All right. so since the thumbs there unless it depends on which hand this is 
obviously, uh, left or right, but give or take. I'll start about there. And from this point, I need to save to double check. And back in Maya. Going to reload. And it looks like I put the top of the hand on the bottom part. So, back in Photoshop. Uh, and I believe... Something like this. Alright, yes. Okay. Back in here. Reload. Okay, so it's starting to get there. Um, it's probably going to be really difficult to line up those seams without projection texturing, but um, we'll do our best here. Looks like I want to do a little bit more this way. And it looks like my thumb is actually lining up pretty well there, so we'll just go with that one more time and reload and something like that because there's the thumb wrapping around right where it should and there's a good I think I'll leave it at that for now. Now let's go to hand bottom, duplicate, and I don't know why this resolution is so much, whoops, cancel, different, I think it's different anyway, hide that one. minus plus control D delete delete bring the brush smaller minus minus and delete and in here delete and delete and that's good for this oh, copy and diffuse Control V, Control T. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were much different. Um, rotate around. Open up this. And it looks like I'm actually going to need to do an edit transform. Flip horizontal. Turn on my UVs real quick, see where I'm at. And it needs to be larger. I'm gonna guess something like that. 
and then hopefully I'll be able to just sort of fill in the rest. Um, I'll just use the eraser. I have the others still open. And then I'll just blend these right away. Use my spot healing brush and start to sort of. Ooh, that looks super weird. Whoa. Um, try to fill this in. My brush. Yeah. Let's bring this smaller. I don't want to get that much information in there. Okay, and then now let's try something like that. Okay, and I'll try saving, and we'll do TGA and save. And yes, and OK, and Maya, and reload. All right. It's really not coming out too bad yet. I mean, I wouldn't even call it bad. I'd call it a good start. And then what we would do at the end is blend these all together, uh, typically using the spot healing brush. And um, now... Uh, that I've kind of got that good to go. This will be a hard one because this is also another seam. And the colors are certainly different. But we'll try to match that all the way up at the end. And we'll do the fingers next. And what I'm going to do with the fingers is I'm going to grab on the hand outside. Oh, arm outside. Or hand top. I'm going to just grab like the, I guess the middle finger. Or the ring in the middle. Let's see. Which one kind of has a best angle? I got a little nick there on my hand. Let's try the ring. I'll just use this for every single one. Um, not worried about that. Okay. And zoom out. And scale down. And then again, zoom in. If I was looking for like a lot of diff, uh, uh, major differences in this um, I would I'm not gonna bother texturing the bottom of the hand I'm or the finger I'm just gonna go with this one and try to just sort of get it to uh, I don't like the way that looks try one more time Whoop. And maybe I do need to get to the, include the bottom of it. We'll see here. I'm hoping I can just kind of get this in here and then just spot heel brush the rest of it in. You can see where I want the knuckle to be. It's right about there. The fingernail right about here. I probably want it to be a little bit larger. Um, even if I bring it down in size, maybe give it a little bit more width. And just kind of do the best you can to line it up. Maybe, I don't know, something like that. On this one, I'm just going to give it a shot. Uh, I've been doing this for a minute, so I want to try to wrap things up at least with the fingers and then I'll continue pushing forward with um, the in this case I'll use the clone stamp Let's 
see what happens here. I'm just trying to fill that in. Eh. Just trying to get some skin tone in there. I could even actually go to this layer and grab this section. Uh, I think it's this one. And then I'll go here and just start to create some of those. Well, it seems it's just kind of a nuisance because they're on separate layers. So you constantly have to go back and forth. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and that spot healing brush material right there. As long as it's all in the same layer. And I'll bring this down. All right, hi the UV. That is just kind of funny looking. Um, and just, oh. make this a hard brush. And then anything in this region here, control X and control shift V. So now I've got it all there. All right. And I'll do one thing. Is this one? All right. I'm, I kind of have these mixed up, but that's okay. Once I have one of the fingers, I'm just going to copy and paste it everywhere. Um, one thing I would like to do last is get a clean fingernail. and that'll be the last thing I do on this one. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this entire thing. I used my own hand references, as you can see. Um, I will go back and try to I'll just blend all these together and then I'll cut what I need off in a second. And here I'm going to need a spot healing brush. Right here. Alright. And let's turn this off. And right here. Good enough. That fingernail might actually be huge, but we'll see. All right, TGA, and this is a test to see if the finger's done right. Ah, cancel, oops. All right, TGA, save, yes, okay. Back over here. Reload. Mm 
And other than that finger now looking super large. I'd say it's okay. I'm just going to go with that. It's good enough. Um, and then we'll go back into Photoshop. And I'm going to zoom out. And just crop this part out. Control C. And this is going to be my fingernail for each one. Um, if you get one really good one, then you can use it for all of them. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. And then... And I'm just going to scale these to fit. I'm not too... Uh, particular. A little particular, but... Each finger is the same. It's essentially, they're all... Uh, duplicates of one another scale differently so this essentially in theory should honestly as long as you put place it right and everything should work perfectly and we're going to do this for each one and we'll go with that and the next one and we'll go with whatever um, okay we'll go with that I'm gonna use the same one for the thumb even though it's gonna look weird I could just do a warp transform warp and maybe that'll help a little bit I can probably pull this this way and I'll pull this one this way down and that up and scrunch that up a little bit and then we'll grab this one mm -mm -mm. for maybe this one And, oh, sorry. Not that one. This one, I think, is the thumb. Nope. This one's the thumb. I had it right. All right, and then this one is an edit, transform, horizontal. And... Shift that right into place, and then I have this one goes over here. And this one. I guess I'll go right there. Let's get a little bit larger. Let's go ahead and just fit it into place a little bit better. And enter. And... This one. Control C. Control Shift V. I think that one will be this one. All right, and enter, and save. And actually, 
because it's really wonky to see that. Looks super funky, but um, kind of is actually. Save, yes. That's fine. And Maya. And reload. Alright. And my fingernails are kind of weird looking, but you get the idea. It doesn't blend too poorly together uh, because they're actually from the same photo reference where these are just kind of me rotating my arm around and things. But you get the idea. Um, then I got to do the same thing for my other hand. And that would have been... Rip this one off. Control X. New layer. Control Shift V. And this is the hand. And copy. And zoom out. And I probably need to do like a flip horizontal kind of thing. Edit, transform, flip horizontal, I'm guessing, and then here, let's turn on my UVs one more time, I just need to make sure that they're not bleeding into the other textures, TGA, save, yes, okay, Maya, reload and let me turn off the UVs one more time because they on such a small section they can kinda get a little distracting on the hands at least and we'll go back in here reload All right. So I've got a hand. It's not too shabby. It's got it needs clean up just like a lot of these seams, but for the most part it's pretty decent. Um and then I need to blend these in together. Um but <laughs> and clean that off of the hand too. Um There we go. And I'm going to need to run some cleanup on it, but okay. All right, that reloaded. And now I've got the start of my texture for my arms in there. I also need to texture in the hands and try to clean up some of that uh, and match the skin tones. Um, I also want to finish up doing the seams on the jeans, um, the shoes I'm totally fine with, and then clean up some of these excess areas that just kind of got projected on there somehow on other layers. So the last thing I'm going to do is just do the touch-ups on the jeans and uh, try to clean up some of these seams. Um, but I think we're off to a excellent start on here. Ooh. And uh, thanks for watching. And I... Uh, Stay tuned for the next one where um, we clean up the rest of the texture. I thought this would have been like my last video, but it's running longer than I expected. Uh, so we'll continue with one more, uh, hopefully only one more. Um, all right. Thanks again, and stay tuned for the next video.